Yeah, let's get y'all ladies, gentlemen, kings, queens, how y'all doing, how y'all feeling today? We got Bronx Drill. Where are they now? This is brought to us by New School Stories, you know what I'm saying? Let's get smooth to it, man. Bronx Drill blew up in 2020 and brought a new energy to New York City. Type but shit. the movement also brought a ton of chaos. True. There was all kind of beef between all the groups involved in the scene. There were kids crashing out left and right, and others losing their lives as a result. Alliances Damn. fell apart like never seen Damn. before. Friends turned Damn. into enemies, Look and everything was documented Look in music drill. and on social media for the world to see. Look at the drill. This new Damn. movement in the city that was the hill. numerous figures who this gained fame from their music, but and I the past drilly. four years have led these rappers to these all silly. different types of places. Bitch, I run up a million. Some crashed out she their titty. careers Hold away, on. Several Damn. lost their lives, I might some hit the faded Come to relevance, and others found Damn. themselves in crazy situations, facing allegations ranging all the way from snitching to robbing fans. So Damn. in this video, we'll take a look Damn. at some of the biggest faces in Bronx Damn. Drill and where they are now. Damn. I got a lot of be cool shit. This thing went from the OG to talking about Dougie's recent ass situation. How long was the shit in the mix or in the works? Spaz Drill League was one of the early pioneers of Bronx Drill, and early Bad bangers job. like Bunny Hop and Op Spotter put him on the map. But his career was cut short early when he was locked up in late 2020 for a body. And four years later, in the present day, he's still sitting waiting to be sentenced. RPT was also very early on in the scene, and this group included rappers like D-Thang, T-Dot, Bando, Six Shots, T-Mac, and E-Day. They lost a couple members to jail early, but D-Thang emerged as the breakout star. He, Bando, and T-Dot were doing numbers throughout 2021, especially the end of the year when they dropped Talk Facts. However, one by one, they all went down for various charges, and in 2022, the whole RPT gang was indicted on conspiracy charges. So, through 2022 and 2023, they had to sit behind bars. In early 2024, D-Thing was finally released. By this point, Bronx Drill was declining, and the fans were waiting for someone to save it. D-Thing began dropping consistently, pulling millions of views on each video, and literally carrying the movement, as well as giving a boost to other YG rappers like Use G's and Shy G's through collabs. However, despite his strong comeback from January to the present day, even D-Thing has seen a slight decline in his views. He's True. still leading the movement, but the movement on the whole is on the decline. True. Shy G's was around through most of the Bronx Trill wave. He started rapping around 2020. Use G's started rapping in 2021, but took off quickly with songs like Warzone and Dead Lokes. In late 2022, after dropping New Wop, Sha started going crazy and blowing up like never before. Shortly after this, in 2023, Use and Sha would start beefing and dissing each other on songs. But in 2024, after d Think came home, they were able to settle their differences and everybody came together on a song titled My Town. Despite this fact, through 2024, like most other Bronx Drill rappers, they both saw their views decline. Lee Drilly was one of the biggest rappers on the YG Lee, side, and he also blew up in 2021, but got locked up in 2022. Really in one of the best, if not the best. Bronx drill scene. Tough. Very tough. Reimmersed. In 2021. But got locked up in 2022. In 2024, he was finally sentenced for five years. However, given the fact that he had already sat for two, fans were hopeful that he'd be out soon. You know what I'm On the OG side, Shai K and B Love were some of the early pioneers of Bronx drill. B Love took off with K Flock and Dougie B in 2021, but after this year, things began to decline for him. He attempted to make more mainstream RB influenced music, however, saw limited success. Shai K hit his peak in 2022 with oh, songs fuck. like Face of the What and Touch the Ground. However, after this point, things would begin to decline for him. He found himself getting to constant petty beefs with people all over New York. 
Despite seeing tons of success rapping alongside rappers from the OY group in Harlem and even jacking the name OYOGs for their alliance, he ended up falling out with them and dissing them in songs along with the growing list of other people he had problems with. Despite all this beef and dissing, his views began dropping and his name started to fade from relevance on the scene. In the present day, both he and B-Love aren't completely irrelevant, but they're far from their prime. Fair. Oh boy, here we go. Out of now everybody in this drill movement, DOA rappers have definitely seen the biggest decline as a collective. K-Flock was the face of the entire city in 2021, but caught a body at the peak of his career and threw everything away. While in jail, he was named in a DOA indictment and found himself suddenly dealing with federal charges. He was facing the chair, but that was taken off the table and now he's facing life. However, things still aren't looking good for him and there isn't much hope. Fuck, Lucky bro. B was right beside K Flock through everything in 2021, but after K was locked up, things started spiraling for him. He dropped less and less consistently and found himself going in and out of jail. He started dating Asian Doll and then fell out with some of his homies, and the whole time he was off the perks heavy. In May of 2024, K Flock's mom revealed that he had checked into rehab, but just a month later, Dougie was back in the news after a 16 year old fan accused Dougie of robbing him for a band. Dougie denied the accusations, but the video of him eyeing the money definitely makes it look like there was a good chance he had <laughs> to get it. Got a good was on. another DOA rapper from 186th, a hood one block away from K Flock and Dougie B's home. He was also taken off in 2021 and had several big songs to win numbers. But unfortunately, in early 2022, he met a tragic. If you're going to just randomly pick CI out of the bunch, you better run through all their fucking, all their whole shit. Because what the fuck? And C Blue and Set the Trend right came up together in 2021. Okay. But after this breakout year, they watched their numbers decline and then began beefing. And this beef ended up escalating into a situation where Seti threw a brick at Cebu's car. They ended up squashing things, but then a couple of months later, alleged paperwork came out on Seti. Most of DOA turned their back on him, and once again, he and Cebu weren't cool anymore. Then in June, Cebu's editor dropped a video accusing Cebu of being broke and owing him money. C Blue denied these allegations and the two argued about the situation on IG Live. Nas EBK was also a part of this 2021 wave of DOA rappers, but in 2023, he was booked for a body he allegedly caught in Times Square and is still sitting behind bars at the time of his writing. Out of all the DOA rappers, there was just an update on that shit I could have sworn. I forgot what nigga said, but. Hey, if you got that Dougie B news, latest news, then I'm surprised you didn't get that one, but hey man. Kenzo Bala was the most consistent. He blew up towards the end of 2021 alongside TG Flocka. He continued dropping and consistently doing numbers into 2023, but eventually even his views began declining. It's a scene as a whole, you know what I'm saying? When it comes Bala. to rappers from Sugar Hill, they've had mixed results. Eda Baby was a pioneer as far as the drill movement in Harlem, blowing up with an early song called Ready For War. He continued doing numbers and leading Sugar Hill in the following years, but unfortunately, he met a tragic end in November of 2022. Sugar Hill King started blowing up in late 2021 when he dropped Move Look. In early 2022, he was taking over the scene, but in June, he was booked on firearm charges and a year later sentenced to five years in prison where he's sitting currently. Didi Osama and Sugar Hill D-Dot took off in the second half of 2022, becoming two of the biggest artists on the New York drill scene. Through 2023 and 2024, they've continued to do numbers, still pulling millions of views on a regular basis, but slowly declining in popularity. 
sweeps. Forgot. The sweepers were the most recent group to jump into the mix of the Bronx and Harlem drill movement after they exploded onto the scene in January, dissing DOA, the OGs, and OY. They had a large amount of excitement around them, especially S. Go. Things were going up, but then they began falling apart. First, J5 was arrested on gun charges. Then in August, Najee BG was booked in connection with the situation where he was allegedly involved with an attempted drill on a gang member that resulted in two civilians being hit, one of whom was a four-year-old. The cops put a warrant out for S.Go because they believed he was also involved in the incident, and about a week later, he turned himself in. So the sweepers literally had a seven-month run from January to August, and then things were over for them. As a whole, the Bronx and Harlem drill movement went just as expected. I'm not gonna just lie. like kind of crazy that you didn't uh, mention Jay Allen, which is free, been doing his own thing. Kind of, kind of crazy, but. In Chicago and Brooklyn, real violence was the driving factor behind the movement, and this conflict always has the same result. Some lose their lives, some go to prison, and some make it out. The fans inevitably get bored and move on to something new, and everybody watches their numbers drop. Damn. 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 Yeah, it sucks to suck, you know what I'm saying? Uh... So what happens when, uh, you know, I don't want to call people dick riders for fucking with certain shit and then, you know what I'm saying? I mean, of course it's natural to get tired of something or get bored or, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to, uh, how do I say it? You know what I'm saying? Niggas fuck with something or somebody for something specifically. And then at some point just is like, fuck them. Uh, you know, I don't fuck with this shit. And then, it, you know what I'm saying? For the ones that tried different shit, it's still just like, fuck them. It, it ain't what I came for in the first place. I don't know how to word it. I, I've, I've never been good with wording that specific uh topic or type thing. But, yeah, if you get it, you get it. And, uh, amen. Dick Riders. The worst. One of the worst types of people on this earth. But, um, yeah, man. Interesting video, interesting video. Uh, yeah, this is brought to us by New School Stories, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Links in the description getting tuned. Y'all take it easy. Good book, 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 book. Good book.